Alright, so here we have the Armor 90 Micro Brushless FPV Drone by Maker Fire. This was sent in by uh, Gearbest, uh, so I can uh, review it. So thanks to, uh, to Gearbest for sending this uh, mi Micro Brushless FPV Drone. Uh, so we'll open the box real quick, just show you what comes in the box. Uh, they give you a set of instructions. Looks like they're both in English and Chinese. Uh, pretty basic instructions. They do give you the the video transmitter uh, frequency table, so that's good. Uh, some information on the on the board, binding process for DSM2 and FR Sky, and just some general information. So pretty basic. Uh, this one is actually the Spectrum version DSM2. Uh, I wish they had sent the FR Sky because that's what I use. So I'll have to dig up my old uh, Spectrum radio. Hopefully it binds. It's an old DX6. So it comes already pre-assembled, as you can see. Uh, some stickers for the canopy. Uh, they give you some extra propellers, a set of uh, extra props with uh, screws, a set of the propeller protectors, one uh, 2S 350 mAh 60C uh, battery, so kind of small, so we'll see how it flies, a USB cable, some velcro strap and a charger. I guess this is for the battery. So this charges from a USB to. Huh, interesting. It says. Yeah, this is to S charger, so. So it'll charge from any USB uh, adapter. Looks pretty good, actually. Uh, not bad for a uh, ready to fly micro. These uh, prop cars are actually pretty, pretty good. As you can see, they they're they're quite flexible. They're not the brittle plastic. So, as you can see, uh, you're able to bend them, and they bounce right back. So that's uh, although I imagine if I bend it too much right here, it it may eventually give. So I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin it there already, but right here there they do uh, bounce back so right here probably you know on a really hard hit it may break on these but overall uh, pretty uh, resilient anyways uh, these are usually you know for uh, this should only be used for when you're indoors and you're flying slow so these are meant for that so you're flying slow and you you bump a wall it'll protect uh, the wall or your TV it'll save from sc scratching it with the with the props and it, it'll keep you going you know, it just, you'll bounce right back so so these are not, not meant for going full speed and then crashing and it's gonna protect it uh, no it's mainly for like kinda of going slow and just kinda of bouncing off uh, looks like the Antenna is one of those uh, dipole antennas, so uh, I'll take it apart and see see how it's inside. Because anyway, I think for changing the for changing the frequency and binding the receiver, you have to access the inside because you have to press the button for binding and then the buttons for, for the VTX to change the frequencies. Uh, pretty neat uh, way to hold the battery. These are looks like they're just kind of like silicon rubber, and they are just uh, they snap in there. So that that's that's pretty cool. I like that. That 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 should hold the battery quite well, actually. So let's see. That just battery just slips in there. Not too bad, put it in. And yeah, that holds it in place quite well. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Pretty good. Alright, let's uh, crack this open and check out the um, 
the inside. Uh, the 401 ESC is supposed to be a BL Heli S. Uh, I believe they're 10 amps, and they can do the shot. The FC is a F3 base, and uh, it uses the Omnibus uh, target, so it's got a built-in OSD. So that's quite neat. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, voltage. You'll know when the battery is low. So overall, uh, pretty pretty well made, I think. Uh, the frame is carbon fiber. Looks like it's two and a half millimeters, uh, two and a half millimeters thick. So pretty good, a uh, pretty good thickness, and it's fairly stiff. The motors are 1104 7500 kV. So that's pretty good for 2S on 2 inch props. Uh, these are actually, I believe these are smaller than 2 inch uh, about 1.9 I think they are. Yeah these are like 1.9 inch. Uh, looks like you should be able to fit 2 inch props right here. So let's see the diameter of these prop protectors. Looks like they're 2.1 inches so you should be able to fit a 2 inch prop. Uh, these motors should be able to do 2 inch prop. These are 1.9 uh, they should be able to do uh, uh, two inch, two inch props, no problem on 2S. And overall, the frame is, I believe, uh, 90. It's just slightly larger than 90, but I mean, you can call it 90. It's really 90, two and a half. So 90 millimeters is fine. All right, let's uh, open it up and see what's in there. The only critique so far is that you have to stick stick this uh, screwdriver to undo the canopy and uh, get access to the receiver. Uh, so there's the camera. The camera is just kind of compressed uh, there with the, with the canopy. The material is kind of like a hard plastic so uh, I can see like if it's a hard hit I can see this breaking but it, it should be pretty resilient too so the camera is there and it's not uh, it, I don't think it'll come up looks like they solder it or they uh, use this uh, shrink wrap after sticking it in there because it won't come through that hole so uh, so the camera VTX has these two buttons to change the frequency and channel so those sides are supposed to line up right here and then you can stick a, a needle or the, a toothpick or whatever you know and then you can uh, switch channels so it's a, just a matter of lining up with those two holes there I suppose that would be on the uh, instructions. And you could use uh, a little bit more of this of uh, sticky tape, and you know, make sure it, it's lined up uh, so that it stays in place. Receiver is quite tiny, as you can see here. It's the size of a fingernail, basically, and uh, this one's uh, DSM2. So it's got the button here for for binding. It should be easy to, easy to bind. Uh, so let's check the weight. Uh, without the battery, it's... ...61.4 without the battery. And... ...the battery weighs... ...25.8. So... ...not that bad, uh, the weight is pretty reasonable. It's not super light but it's not that heavy either. So 87.1 uh, ready to fly. So not bad. Uh, that's with the 350 milliamp battery. Of course you can uh, you can try to uh, fly with the 450. Uh, possibly a 550 but I don't know if that's gonna be too much. I'll, I'll I'll give it a try uh, when I when I test fly this uh, uh, at the park. So we'll see how it flies with the larger battery.
Alright, so here is connected to Configurator 3.2.1. It comes loaded with uh, Betaflight 3.17 and the target is Omni, uh, so that's the Omnibus. Uh, so these are my configurations, uh, how I got it to work. Uh, I set the UART2 to Serial RX, that's where the uh, receiver is connected. And then on configuration, I'm just running D shot 300 8 4 seems to run pretty well. A Spectrum uh, receiver, and that's what it came with. Uh, so it depends what you what you get, either Air Force Sky or Spectrum. And the OSD is turned on. And for the battery voltage, you wanna uh, get this on on board ADC, and then you would uh, calibrate it uh, with a multimeter or with the battery tester. Uh, check the battery voltage and sec check what the OSD is uh, displaying and then you move these up and down accordingly. Uh, PID tuning went up a little bit uh, on roll. Uh, haven't really tuned it uh, so so that's what it is. Uh, some people like to to set the D set point uh, at 1. Uh, so the receiver once it is turned on all of these will move and of course you set your modes arm air mode horizon if you want to use that and osd switch uh, so you could turn it on and off and then uh, on the osd uh, you got all the different settings here what you want on or off uh, for this usually you just want the main battery voltage the on time if you want that fly time and fly mode and of course some of the warnings now this is a uh, running 3.17 and I have the configurator 3.21 so perhaps uh, that's why it's not displaying all the options here there's a whole lot more that would be displayed that's pretty much it that's the configuration should get you f up and flying with those settings alright so I'll charge the batteries and go for a couple of lights <laughs> 